can't break it down at the moment. Maybe Foden will. Yeah! Yeah! The chance. Manchester, it's yet again blue. Come on! The Manchester derby, red against blue. City versus United. Okay. It's all to play for today at the Etihad Stadium. It's a must win for the boys in blue today. Liverpool hit a 99th minute winner to go four points clear at the top of the table, meaning we've got to beat the Rags to get back within one point. United, however, the season may be over for them, but they'd love a win in their World Cup final. And we ain't giving them that chance today. We're going to batter them. Come on, City! So if you are enjoying the video, smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button, and it's time for the Manchester Derby. Can we do the dirty double over the rags? I sure hope so. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the start of the video. We are on the approach to the Etihad Stadium. Hopefully, we're just in time for the bus meet. Obviously, no team news. We are very, very early today. Big, big game against the red side of London. We have to make sure that we get three points today. Nothing will do for the only club that actually comes from Manchester and we've got to make sure that we win and they have the capability of being able to show up which they did back when Pogba took performance enhancing drugs back in 2018 uh, or 17 it makes up for his amazing performance that he's defo on performance enhancers and banned for four years but anyway we know what they are capable of they beat us in lockdown and that was the last time that they beat us here at the Etihad Stadium we got a good result against them last year Harlan and Foden both scoring hat-tricks hopefully more of the same today it is a must must win against london team united i think the bus is literally just arriving because you can hear the guy screaming on the pa system introducing all the players coming out so i think we've missed all the flares and the pyros etc but anyway we're not here for that we're here to see city batter those red london bastards on the pitch honestly excuse me there oh my god i'm just ready for this one i'm ready 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 it's manchester derby day there are cops crawling everywhere i hope the metropolitan police from london are here as well because I tell you now all the avanti west coast have sold out uh, with united fans on the way up but flipping heck this is going to be one hell of a derby and i've seen so much preview for it as well but i'm not a fan of that that big black gray sky uh, hopefully the weather holds out and it's it's a nice day at the moment it's cold but it's nice it's dry yeah they're crawling here we love that. We're in plenty of time. We are actually in before the team news. Usually we're stuck in traffic when the team news is coming out. Well, we're in nice and early. We missed the bus meet, but you know what? It's only the team getting off the bus. It's, it's a minor, isn't it? Uh, if you want to go and watch that, go check out NCFC Lads' vlog. It's an absolute go. Uh, but today we are here. We're soaking up the atmosphere. We're going to build up properly and we're going to enjoy the Manchester derby. Hell of a lot of tourists here. But to be honest, I'm not one to talk because I go a hell of a lot of places. For example, I was at the Milan derby in the Champions League semi-final last year with a half an hour scarf. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm an absolute state. But it's Milan derby, Champions League. Like, I'm going to experience it how I want. So that's why I've got nothing against them. But there are a hell of a lot here. The only thing that I've got against is the number of them like there needs to be a lot less a lot more local uh, fans and obviously the away end will be full of cockneys anyway so that's really a minor in itself but yeah big game this uh, we've got to make sure that we win close the gap to one point we go to Anfield next week so it doesn't really get any easier uh, luckily the Brighton game is postponed but that's been changed to Newcastle and then we've got Arsenal so it's going to be a very very tough um, month for City but this is the this is the month where the steam train carries on rolling I brought, I brought some buddies today uh, thanks to Mum who made them for us uh, so we got some buddies we're going to nail those that's going to get a wine oh, how far are we going? <laughs> how far are we going up? we're going up miles anyway let's enjoy it the state of this <laughs> it's what they call a pint here at City big man I would have I would have given that back that is an absolute disgrace I said to him I was like give that back you can't have that that's absolutely vile anyway oh. Fair play, you've got better customer service and people skills than I do, obviously. <laughs> well, thanks to Stan, I've got the team. A bit early than normal, it hasn't been announced yet, so here we go. Edison, Diaz and Stones in the middle, with Walker and Ake on the fullbacks. Happy so far, Rodri, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. No front four today, thank you Pep. I've been calling for this 4-3-3. It won us it last year, hopefully that front four just wasn't working which means we've had to sacrifice Alvarez. So it's Rodri, De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva in midfield. He can run the whole game. I like that. Front three, Foden, Doku, Haaland. The only thing that we're missing is Grealish. I'd play him instead of 
uh, Doku, but Grealish is injured, so Doku gets a nod today. He needs to find a finishing product. Today's a good game to be able to prove himself. He is super explosive. I'm not sure what side Doku's going to be on. I think he might go on the left and Foden go on the right. So Foden's going up against Lindelof. That is a battle. So I think Foden will win that one. And then Doku is going up against Diogo Dallo. So I think I think Doku can win that as well. But he just needs to be able to find Haaland and De Bruyne are on the edge of the box. We need an early goal in this game. But to be honest, I've had a look at their team and they are very, very defensive. Manu, Casemiro and McTominay. Three CDNs in that midfield with Bruno ahead of them with two strikers. I think Garnacho and Rashford are going to play on top. But Johnny Evans is playing. Dad's just said he should have brought his boots. Flip in. Heck, I can't believe Johnny Evans is playing. Anyway, let's jump in to some pretty much atmosphere. I always get so sorry for some Derby name. Oh, I know we're better than them, but I'm not looking forward to it. It's just they can have the possibility of showing up. Hopefully, City get the job done. I've heard a stat, right? No goals in the first half in the last four home games, and we haven't been in the big six here this season. So it's time to get that done today. Champions again, ole ole. Of course, the five time trophy winners in 2023. We need to beat United to get that Premier League four times in a row. Come on, City. Heart is absolutely powerful. I'm buzzing for it, but I am nervous. Seems to be a little trait. Man United have definitely won the toss. They've swapped the ends, kicking towards. Oh, I thought they had the best fans in the league. I can see empty seats at the top and none over here. Funny that, isn't it? Well, the ends are swapped, they're kicking towards in the first half. Let's have a good game. Come on, City. Let's make Manchester blue again. Okay. Here we go then. The Manchester derby is off and underway. Let's have an amazing game. And hopefully, we make Manchester blue yet again. For an early start here. Doku just missing that Panther product will take the corner. Come on, City! Come on! Everybody is back for Man United. Corner goes short. De Bruyne for the first time. Ball across the box. There's space for Foden to hit that. Oh, and it took a nick and it could have gone anywhere. It's a strong start from City and Foden knew that that was travelling without the reflection. Great start. Got to keep it up. Another corner for City. Look, we look intimidating when we're going forward. Let's get United rocked. Let's get an early goal. He's got a bit lucky with the return. De Bruyne went down. Here's Bernardo Silva taking on the left hand side. De Bruyne, what's he going to do? Lovely little ball. Stones! Still got the ball. Don't think the referee, don't think we're going to get out from that to be honest. No check needed or check cleared quite relatively quickly. City are just dominating this game so far. Bruno Fernandes is pretending to be injured again. Good start from City. It just looked like they got the foot in just before John Stones was about to hit that. Poor position from United, but they got themselves back defensively. Uh, it looked like City just a shade in the attacks down that left hand side. Jeremy Doku just needs to work on his final ball. He had a really good chance to slip hard and through. Doku. Goes for goal and he's not too far away. Good chance. We can see what United are trying to do. High press, counter attack down the middle. Every single person when City had the ball is pressing. But ultimately, keeps gifting City back the ball. And United are sitting with three CDMs, making it really difficult for us to get through. Hopefully, we can find an early goal and that'll break their pattern. But they've got a chance here on the break. Got an show. Straight at Edison with the cross. This is going to be the battle. Phil Foden versus Victor Lindelof. Lindelof not a full back, and Phil Foden one of the most important players in the world right now. Let's see what Keegan did. What a goal. Oh my days. What a goal from Marcus Rashford that is. That is a bolt from the blue. Man United who have been absolutely skinned in this first eight minutes. We find ourselves behind. Oh, the media check. The one side. City are a goal down, and that is, that's a massive goal in this game, but City are determined that Bruno Fernandes was offside when the ball was touched down. The referee's got his fingers to his ears, all the City players surrounding him. It's a goal, it's 1-0. Not good, not good, not good. Great goal though. Oh, good start from City as well, and we've been hoofed. That's exactly what they wanted to do. It's exactly what they wanted to do, and that's exactly what they've done. Maybe a chance there, but Rams just going to let them run. Now they've got something to hold on to when defending so deep, pressing so high, and what a hit that was in off the bar. No chance for Edison. And uh, they've got what they wanted, and now it's going to be a struggle. Foden! What a save. What a save from Onana. Big chance for Foden. Better Come on, the way that the ball felt was a little bit lucky. Huge, huge save from Onana to keep to United at the front. Foden's through! This has to go! What a save! Morano broke off the rebound, it was just on his right foot. What a chance for Bowden. Really good ball keeping from Onana. He made sure that he hit that on his right foot. The corner's taken short though from the save. 
Rodri's cross. Oh, Diaz was completely free in the middle, but what a save from Ronaldo that is. Chances like that have got to be buried, like in this game especially. It's a great save though, he forced him onto his right foot, which is Foden's weaker side, and therefore the shot wasn't good. City Pick him looking him better. Up. Hey, save for Doku. It's a better final ball, and that's what he's missing, a finish. It's not good enough at the moment. Kind of sums up City's first half, that finish. Good creativity, no end product. Walker. Take it on Lindelof, this is better from City down the right hand side, it's a great cross, no one there, Rodri! Save from Onana, good effort, didn't really hit it cleanly. We need to get this win, it has to be a win today. If we don't win, that means we wouldn't have beaten any of the other five competitors. With Arsenal still to play, four competitors at home, and usually we pride ourselves on our home form, so we need to make sure that, that we just start finding our rhythm up front, because we've not been at it today. Nice job, it's away from Garnacho. Foden, what a block, what a block that is. United winning the second ball, but City winning the ball on the edge of the box. They can't get out at the moment, man coming there. City needs to find a goal. Kevin, oh my, oh my, head it, head it. Oh, somebody did. Being in back, ball was bobbling, we've got four minutes. Again, not been a strong half here at the Etihad, we need to find a goal, change the dynamic in the second half. But we've had the chances, and we can't put them away. Rodri, Foden, yes! I can't believe what I've just seen. I am. Um, I, 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 I don't have any words. De Bruyne. Nice little give and go. That's brilliant. All it could have gone anywhere, and that's the luck that has just gone against us in this first half. Two massive chances. It just hasn't been with us in this first half. Anyway. Corner, last kick of the first half. De Bruyne are in. McTominay gets ahead on it. It went over. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. We need to find a goal here. Johnny Evans is giving it away. Phone on the edge of the box. Rodri's free at the back stick. Stones looking for the give and go. Rodri slates up to hit it. Goes round one. City just keeping that ball on the edge of the box. Walker's going to hit it. It's deflected and it's over the bar. Another corner. Kick of the first half. It's too close. It's too close. Catching practice. Sums up the set pieces and that's going to be that. That is a depressing first half. Very depressing. That has to be one of the most depressing halves of football I've watched for a very long, long time following the boys in blue, especially this season. What on earth more have we got to do to score? Honestly, it's a joke. Oh, it's so frustrating. Right, talk about their goal. It was, it was stunning. Stunning. We can't even stand here, sit here, watch it on TV, wherever you guys are watching the game. If you watch it just on this, you have to admit, it was a stunner. It's an absolute stunner. It's a ball from a blue. It's route one football. Onana kicks it over the top. Bruno brings it down, has time, not closed down properly. Lays it back to the edge of the box. He comes in, he smacks it, and it's in off the bar. It's no chance. It's safe. It's unsavable. It's a stunner. And I hate to say it, he's been defending as well. He's actually putting in effort, and it's really frustrating that, of course, he only does it against us. It's really annoying. Anyway, City point of view, Jeremy Doku needs to come off the pitch. We are missing anyone that says that we're not missing Jack Grealish is wrong. He is so missed. He created the most chances last season, any more, even more than my ginger brother KDB, and that's how much we're missing him. And it's just not gone in. That Harlan chance, that Foden one-on-one. -on -one. We've had block after block. Man United are putting bodies in the way. All 11 men are behind the ball. Most of 10, they're leaving Garnacho up front to be able to hold the ball up for when they distribute on the counter. We're playing right into their hands and at the moment it's working for them. But I think, right, I know they've changed it round. I know they've disorientated by changing the ends. When we kick towards the south stand, we find that first goal. The atmosphere is back and then we go on and win. So hopefully we can find it. But pure frustration, let's cross to the second half. Hopefully we can find a way through because at the moment it's the United bus and it's parted from that City goal and we need to break the windows and doors and get in that bus. Oh, what a tackle again from Carl Walker, that is, that is absolutely brilliant. That's rolling around on the floor. That is an amazing tackle. That has woken the whole crowd up, maybe. The goal will really, really change this game now. Absolutely mounting on the pressure. We just can't break it down at the moment. Maybe Foden will. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Yes! What a goal! What an unbelievable goal this is. He may have missed the one-on-one -on -one in the first half, but this is why he's the most informed player in the 
world right now. The Stockport Iniesta take a goddamn bow. Look at the state of this for a goal. Brilliantly on his left foot and Waller right into the top ends of the back of the United net. That's what we need. Look at this for a goal. It was in from the moment it left the spoons. Insane. Exactly what he's done. He's woken up this place and that's what he needed. The fans can be the difference and we're going to make the difference. Say this at half time, Jeremy Doku. He just needs that improvement. Uh, he will get it. It will come. He is a very talented player. He just needs to work on his final product. This is his transition, yeah. And Julian Alvarez is coming on. Just don't go to a four. I want Alvarez to go straight left wing. I don't, I don't know what's going on at the moment. Maybe we find another one here. Brilliant so far. This is what we needed in the second half. Second half team at the moment. Hit that. Oof. Much better from City this. We seem to be a second half team at the moment. It's just like we've woken up and the fans have woken up and that reflects. The atmosphere is absolutely magical. Even where I am in the family stand. Maybe. Can we get another goal? De Bruyne. Oh now there's coming. It's a long way, it's a corner. Come on! Well, United are trying to waste as much time as possible, and I'm surprised Onan has made it to the 64th minute without a booking. That is absolutely ludicrous referee, in my opinion. He's been taking minutes upon minutes. Here's the goal. Look at the state of that for a strike. Um, technical game, Onan, but he's been wasting so much time since minute one, and it's not acceptable. He needs, referees need to get on top of that, get him a booking, and get him treading on thin ice. But United are treading on thin ice. So many men back. They're hardly going forward, and City are just looking for that next goal. Here's Harlan. Completely fouls him, it's a yellow card for sure for Rafael Varane. It's a great tactical foul from a United point of view, but a dangerous position for City's point of view from the free kick. Free kick here, and it's going to be my ginger brother, KDB. Surprised Alvarez isn't over it. It's going to be Kevin, here we go. Straight into the wall. Probably should have gone with Alvarez, maybe. I don't know. Space has opened up a little bit. Desperate Manchester United defending, isn't it? Relentless, relentless, no intent on putting the pressure here on Nathan Ake. They are sitting in and they are happy with the point. 15 minutes ago, Anthony's coming on, Rashford's coming on. Surprisingly, he's actually been putting in effort, but maybe not this later period in the second half. The effort seems to have died off. So you've got 15 minutes to break down this Man United bus. It's taken two special goals in this game. The margins are thin. Can City find the winning margin? It's a chance! Yeah! It's a goal, it's brilliant, it's Broden again to grab his second in the Manchester derby. He loves a goal against United, that's five in two games here at the Etihad against the Rags. And it's a brilliant goal and it came from Pep, switching Broden to that left-hand side. Brilliant little one-two and Broden one-on-one, on one. gets a hand, can't keep it out. Come on! It'll be interesting to see what they do now. Are they going to come out because they've been blitzed twice, they've been so organised, but torn apart from the Stockport Iniesta. Let's see if Man United come out, because if they do, our dancers getting another. Here we go. Ginger brother on the left, taking on, and it comes on. Oh, it's great defending, like really good defending from United. It's minutes of added time, but maybe my ginger brother who goes for it, it's not far off. That's a great effort. We've got to hang on. This will be a monumentous victory for us if we can get it. Poor first half, but brilliance in the second half. Man United haven't had a shot on target except the goal. Let's keep it that way. It's yet again blue. Come on! Look at this. This is scenes that you love to see at Etihad Poznan as we wave the boys back to London. Safe journey, boys. What a second half from Manchester City. What a second half team. One nil down at half time. It looked like we weren't going to break down that red bastard bus, but we have three times. Come on! Not embarrassing. Oh, he slipped. He slipped. We still, we still right. Come on, Phil! Patrick! Lovely ball. That's what the drops are ordered. I had a feeling at half time if we get one, we get three. It's just one of those games where the atmosphere has been amazing when we got that first goal. And they've had nothing to offer. They've had one shot on target. It was an amazing goal, to be fair. But as was Phil Foden's, and then we've gone on and been the better team. We deserve this victory. United fans, you can't even complain because you guys have done nothing but defend. Score a wonder goal and expect to get a winner on draw. Four. Alex Ferguson was once asked, can City go into a derby of favourites? He said, not in my lifetime. Now, it's every time. Bye-bye to London, lads.
dirty boys. Bill Bonin's going to get a standing ovation as he makes way. Whoa! A magnificent first, a brilliant second, and he's going to make way for the last minutes of this game. You are a beautiful stop for Iniesta. Two goals in the Manchester derby. Six goals in his last three games against United. You are the absolute GOAT. Best player in the world right now, bar none. Yes! Manchester will be and remains blue. Of course, what a result for the boys in blue. Let's have it! Manchester is blue, ladies and gentlemen. Yet again, Manchester is blue. And that is the most absolutely pathetic Manchester United display I have ever seen since following the boys in blue. The negativity of that team, of that football club, is absolutely disgraceful. And that's what we got. Justice reward for absolutely battering them. Not being able to score in the first half. Bit of a shaky first half. But now second half, we deserve, we deserve to win this 10-1. And I predicted 10-1. It should have been 10-1. Granted United, good defending, but the tactics from Eric Ten Hag were a disgrace. Go and get a good goal and sit in. Sit in, 11 men in the front. No intent on attacking. One shot on target for them. Anyway, enough about them bastards. Let's talk about the boys in blue. And we absolutely beaten the rags today. Absolutely fantastic second half. Stop Port Iniesta. Unbelievable. What a performance from Phil Foden that was. Absolutely incredible. Two goals and then Haaland needed his goal and bunged it off at the end. Smashed it in for 3-1 after a United mistake. We are sitting. Manchester is blue yet again. Kevin De Bruyne at Erling Haaland. He deserved the goal Haaland at the end and he got it. And my ginger brother KDB doing what ginger brother does. And that is beating Manchester United every single time. The GOAT. If you have enjoyed the video, smash that like, hit that big red subscribe button. Manchester is blue yet again. Rotter Sheffield, United versus Arsenal tomorrow. Hopefully the Blades can do us a favour and not be battered. But well, they're going to get battered, aren't they? But if you have enjoyed, smash like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Manchester is blue again. What a second half. The title rate is on.